Howdy y'all, Will here, owner at Chisos Boots, and today we're talking leather care. Now a lot of folks reach out and they think that they have to get all these fancy creams and, and doodads to keep their boots in top shape. It's not true. All you need are probably what you already have in your house. You know, a good horsehair brush, lint-free rag, and some conditioner, and that's about it. You know, boots are tough, so they have a lot of natural oils already in them. Now, this is going to give you, uh, you know, resilience and durability. It's going to give you natural um, water-resistant properties as well. And so you don't really need to add much to that. Uh, in fact, you can actually over-condition your boots. So if you really wear them hard and you beat them up, I'd say every three months is all you need. And beyond that, you know, twice a year if you're a normal user. There's a lot that can be done with just a good old fashioned brushing. Uh, you don't want to put too much on it. You know, you definitely don't want to condition them every time you clean them up. You know, that actually can do its own damage and you're going to end up with cracking and other sorts of weaknesses in the leather. So now that you got your supplies, let's get to it. All right. First thing you're going to do is give them a good brushing. Some people recommend you put water on them, you know, especially if you've got some mud that you want to get off but this is a terrible idea you know water is going to dry out your boots you don't want to get it into the seams you don't want to get in there and cause an issues you know you want to keep as much moisture out of your boots as possible and now you can see here that even with just a good brushing you're already going to get these things pretty much good as new you know i actually have this other here this is a, a tightly wound brush get into some of that welt stitching I mean and uh, get into some of that some more of that mud that's been caked into the heel here but again all we're doing is brushing and any additional moisture you know the leather's already got plenty of moisture to deal with and you know if you want to get a little more of that dirt off you're gonna get it from your conditioner now let's talk conditioner you know, uh, we're actually working on some uh, custom formulated stuff right now for Chisos. So today I'll be using some of that. But there's a lot of things you can get over the counter. I mean, well, it's all over the counter. There's a lot of things you can get out there from your from your boot store and uh, that are going to be pretty good. You want something that definitely doesn't have any silicone products in it as those will get in there and dry out your leather. All right. You know, the other thing with Chisos is that, you know, I take our, our insoles out and I set those aside. I kind of let those dry out. Uh, you know, honestly, I take them out every time I wear the boots. So every, every time I wear them, take them out, let them sit in there, let your boots dry out. All right. Let's get to the good stuff. Now, you can use a rag or you can just put it on with your hands. You know, uh, typically what I do is, is I'll get a little bit on here. And uh, you really don't need a rag unless you're going to try and get deep into those crevices. But maybe take a little more. You know, you can be pretty liberal with this. Make sure you get the uppers too. Make sure you get in that stitching along the welt. Get that heel and then this is where if you're worried about some of that dirt that being still being on there you know the the conditioner is going to help you get that out all right now if you want now what i recommend is let's give it a let it dry just a little bit now some people say you got to let your boots dry out overnight uh, i don't really subscribe to that you know i'd say just let them dry till you get dry to the touch and then if you want hit them back with that brush I 
you've got pretty good shine just like that. And there you go. All you need is a little conditioner and a horsehair brush. You'll hear me say that until the cows come home. Now, uh, if you wear them hard every three months, uh, if you wear them occasionally every six months, you know, you don't need to do it much. Now, in between conditionings, feel free to hit them with that horsehair brush. You can do that as much as you want, but don't over condition. I can't say that enough. Again, you want those fibers to be flexible, but not oversaturated. And don't use any water when you're cleaning them either. All right, y'all. Till next time, take care.